Artzuka! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artzuka. Comic books are the best. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Wonder Woman. You know what makes comic books even better? When you make your own. Even better than that, you can be the hero. I took some pictures of myself as Flyman so that we can make the first edition of Artsuka Comics, The Adventures of Flyman. Here stands Flyman. Noble, strong, and super duper, art super, superhuman. We can draw lines right into this picture and make comic book art. The only thing he needs now are superhero lines. So I'll take my marker and just add those lines in. Dun da da da! He looks more like a superhero. The key to comic book storytelling is that you don't need to put all of the detail in. We're smart enough to follow the story with only a few pictures. Fly man, here's a noise. Is it someone in distress? What could it be? To show this, all we need is a picture of Fly man's ear. You don't need the whole body. And all we want to say in this frame is that he's hearing something. I'm gonna add some sound lines coming into the ear to really show the sound pouring into his ear. So I don't need lots of lines, just a few like this. Wah, 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 wah. Flyman has super hearing. Now check this one out. Flyman bolts into action. I'll just draw some motion lines to show him bolting or charging into action. We should put a cape on him too. What kind of superhero bolts around without a cape? So I'll give him a nice big wavy blue cape. So it looks like the wind is going right through it. I wonder if this cape can make him fly. Oh, look at this picture. Flyman is confused. He doesn't know exactly where to bolt to. I'm going to draw some question marks to show that confusion. I'll start off with one big question mark right here. And then just add in a bunch of little ones. From there. Hmm. Wait a minute, the sound seems to be coming from his stomach? We can show this by only showing his stomach. Now I'll put some lines here to show his stomach making gurgling noises. Let's use some green. Oh, gurgle, gurgle, I'm hungry stomach. Blah, 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 blah. Is that how his stomach sounds? Flyman saves the day by eating a sandwich. But since he's a superhero and eats and eats and eats with superhero-like hunger, and we have our hero stuffed and happy, maybe put a little satisfied burp into the frame. <laughs> How would you spell that? You. You are P. To finish it off, he just needs some burp lines. To be continued next time in The Adventures of Artsuka Comic Fly Man! 
Want to make your own superhero comic book? All you need are photos of yourself or your friends in superhero disguise. I added comic style lines to show things like super hearing and super speed. Sometimes I like to draw other things right into the picture as well. Check out his cape. All that superheroing sure makes me hungry. For more super ideas, check out artzooka.com. Art? Some sound effects. Listen to what a different sound makes. Let's watch with our ears. Let's start by watching a horse and rider with no sound. Hmm, it's kind of boring. Let's see what happens when we do this. That's better. Coconut shells. With a little bit of practice, you can match the coconuts to the feet. Okay, now I have a movie of a flock of pigeons. This is a little too quiet, but... Check it out! It's just a pair of gloves. A person walking in the woods. Let's add some sound. I made that sound by pressing down on some cornstarch. But it doesn't sound quite right. It sounds more like a squeaky shoe on pavement. Let's try this one. That sounds better. And look! It's cereal. What if we add some music? This music makes it seem like it's a happy walk. That's fun. What about this music? This music makes it a scary walk. Cool, eh? It makes the movie seem totally different. You don't have to try to make the sound match the picture either. Check this out. When you're making your own movie, you can record these sounds when you're standing right next to the camera. Playing with sound when you make your own movies can make a big difference. Sound effects great? You can use all kinds of things to make fun sounds for your movies. I used coconuts, cornstarch, and even cereal. It's fun to experiment. We've got lots more great ideas like this at artzooka.com.
Jeremy, my name's Isabella. I challenge you to make something from things you find in a sewing box. That's a great challenge. Let's see what I can artzuka. Let's see. Ribbon, fabric, cotton, a zipper. Hmm. It's all in how you look at it. Art? Whoa, I love skateboarding, and I love seeing it flip through the air with a really nice design on the bottom. Now this t-shirt is really cool, and I want this on that. I can put my favorite t-shirt design on my skateboard, and one of the ways of doing this is creating a grid. Now a grid can help you draw by dividing a bigger picture into a bunch of smaller pictures, and that's a lot simpler. With my pencil and my ruler, I'll create a grid by making a bunch of lines going this way and that way. These bendy rulers are great for this, because the skateboard is a bit curved. I'm not measuring out my lines, I'm just using the ruler as a guide. So all my lines are the same width as the ruler. You want to hold your ruler really tight so that your lines don't go all wonky. Now I need to cover the entire skateboard in lines. And I'll get all these little squares and it'll look like this. A grid. Now I have a grid on my skateboard, I need to make the same grid on my t-shirt. Now to make a grid on my t-shirt, I don't want to draw all over it, because then it'll ruin the shirt. So I'll show you a little trick. Instead of using a pencil, I'm going to use elastics. Check it out. I'll start with a piece of cardboard and just slide it right up into the shirt. And the trick to this is getting the cardboard directly underneath the picture on my shirt. Now that it's underneath, I can take all the extra fabric and tuck it underneath. Another good tip is to make sure that the shirt is pulled nice and tight over that cardboard. And now I'm ready to add the elastics. The elastics stretch over the shirt and make the lines so I don't have to use a pencil. Now that I have a couple of elastics, I want to go back to my ruler and just make sure that the elastics match the width of my ruler, so that way it'll match the grid on my skateboard. That looks about right. Now I'll just match up the bottom. I've got three elastics in place, but I want to cover the whole thing and when I'm finished, I have a grid on my t-shirt. Now we're ready to take this design and put it on the skateboard. All right. I'm gonna keep my t-shirt really close to my skateboard. That way it'll be a lot easier to take this picture and put it onto here. 
Here's another little tip. Line up the grid on the t-shirt with the grid on the skateboard. Just like that. This grid makes it much easier to draw because I just have to draw one square at a time. Let's start with this square. I just draw exactly what I see in this square onto the same square on my skateboard. Just like that. That moon wasn't too difficult to draw. Let's move on to the next square with something to draw in it. One, two. One, two. Here's a tip. Cover up all the other squares with your hand or a piece of paper, and that way we can focus on one square at a time. This square has a few simple lines. I'll copy them. There's one, there's two, and then one goes down like this. That's a lot easier. All right, now I have that, I can move on to the next square. So count over one, one, one. This square has a line that swoops down, just like that. Now I just draw in every single square and when I'm finished, my picture will be complete. Now that I have all the squares drawn, I can paint it any way I want. My skateboard is like a canvas with a cool picture on it. And whenever I have a canvas with a picture on it, I go crazy with color. Check out what I did with this one. Doesn't that look amazing? We have this really cool design, and it has lots of great colors. Not only did I paint the bat and the castle and the moon, but I also painted over the grid on the background. It covers up the grid and it looks even better than the picture on my t-shirt. Now please, don't forget this important safety tip. Never ride on a work of art. Unless it has wheels. Did you miss some of that? If you want to transfer your favorite design onto your skateboard or even onto a poster or a picture, using a grid will make it a lot easier. Use your ruler to create a grid pattern on your skateboard. I don't even measure it. I just draw lines the same width as the ruler. Then you can use elastics to make a matching grid on your t-shirt. Make them the same width as your ruler too. Now when you draw, you only have to draw what you see in each square. One square at a time. It's a whole lot easier. You can paint right over the grid lines or erase them. It's amazing how much it looks like the original. For more fun art tips, check out artzooka.com. And now time for an Artzuka safety message. Remember, when you're painting a still life, be sure it will stay still. For my Artsuka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a plastic box and a drain strainer. I put them in a movie starring paper bag. Come on and see what I made. Oh, and I also put something else in my movie. Broccoli. See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artsuka. Here's the plastic box, and here's the drain strainer. Can you guess what I'm going to make? It's a car. Now let's see it in a movie.
Did you like the movie? I made a car out of a plastic box and a drain strainer. Hey, did you spot the broccoli? Take another look where I put it. I challenge you to make something out of a plastic box and a drain strainer. Be creative, anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artzuka website, artzuka.com. What will you, Artzuka, today? <laughs>